Corvo, if only there was someone else I trusted to send, so that you could remain near. But there is no one else, and the Spymaster was right to insist that I send you. The plague has taken so many, and we must find a cure. When you are near, my heart is at peace. Emily and I will count the days until you return. Hurry home, and bring good news. Steady hand. That's it. Watch it. Casting off. We're away. Take us straight to Dunwall Tower. Lord Corvo has news for the Empress, and we've come a long way. A long way to bring bad news. The sailors say there's a curse on us. Black magic. Superstition. For all we know, there's a cure for the plague by now. Maybe. We live in strange times. Sending the Empress's bodyguard away for a couple of months. That's unusual. Well, this was important. We need help with the rat plague. Next time? Yes, yes. The pressure was too low. All these new machines were touching. Hello, sir. Cormo, you're back! Wait, tell me about your trip, please. Were there any whales? Wait! Let's play hide and seek first. I'll cover my eyes and you hide. You have time? Mother's busy talking to that nasty old spy master. Okay, here we go. While you were gone, Mother seemed very sad. I think she missed you. Let's see if you're still good at this. I'll hide my eyes and count, and at the end of the countdown, I'll try and find you. Okay, I'm going to count to ten. Find a place to hide. Here. I always. I see you. Did you really think you could hide there? Let's play one last time, please, Corvo. All right, then. Let's go see Mother.
Welcome home, Lord Protector. Stop moving, Campbell. And you, Corvo, welcome back. Wherever you've been. They sent him all around the Isle to beg for aid. A waste of time. My elixir will banish the plague from this city. Now keep still a moment, High Overseer Campbell. I'm not so sure that painting looks like Campbell. What are you doing? I need the bottle to draw the eye away from Campbell. I suppose I can paint him without the cider. Eh? Though in truth, he's always close to the stuff. We shall see you at once. <clears throat> it's been good traveling with you, Corvo. Have you ever met my niece, Callista? She's getting more beautiful every year. I'll be happier back with the watch. I'm no diplomat. Strange, we saw whales off Whitecliff. It's too early in the year. I hope we're not fools to come back here. The plague's only getting worse. <sighs> Mother's going to be happy. She missed you. Later, will you show me that Tivian and chokehold like you promised? I won't tell Mother. Everyone seems scared because of the rat plague. I'm glad you're here. Did you see any pirates? They're sick people, not criminals. We've gone beyond that question, Your Majesty. They're... They're my citizens, and we will save them from the plague if we can. All of them. Very well. We will not speak of this again. Mother, Corvo is back. Thank you, Emily. Leave us, please. As you wish, Your Majesty. Corvo. Two days early. Full of surprises, as usual. It's a fair wind that brings you home to me. Follow me, Captain. What news have you brought? You should leave them alone. I hope that one of the other cities had dealt with this before, knew of some cure. This news is very bad. We're at the breaking point. Cowards. They're going to blockade us. They'll wait to see if the plague turns the city into a graveyard. Are you okay, Mother? You seem sad. Yes, don't worry, darling. Mother is fine. Wait, where are the guards? Who sent them away? Mother, look! What are they doing on the rooftop? What? Emily, come here! Thank you. If you hadn't been here... No more! Not again! Mommy! No! Get away from her! Corvo! Oh, oh, mommy! Get away! Corvo! Corvo... It's all coming apart. Fine. Find Emily. Protect her. You're the only one who'll know what to do. Won't you? Corvo. Ward us all. Look at what he's done. Yes, he's killed the Empress. What did you do with young lady Emily, traitor? Her own bodyguard. Ironic. I'll see you beheaded for this, Corvo. Peg him. Chance, Corvo. 
Sign the confession, and let me give you the rights to put your spirit at ease. That's enough for now. Get out. Let's give the man some time to think. Corvo, the Empress is dead. Her daughter Emily is hidden away, and no one will ever know the truth. Yes, unlucky you. Tomorrow you'll be executed, but it's for a good cause. This country needs strong leadership now, someone to guide the weak. And that's where we come in. There was nothing personal in this, even though you almost sank our plans. But it turned out well. You were in the wrong place at the right time. And someone has to take the fall. Goodbye, Corvo. God! Take him back to his cell. You should eat, Corvo. This meal comes from a friend. People are coming to the execution tomorrow. It's on account of Corvo, the one who killed the Empress and abducted her daughter, Emily. So it's an occasion. Right. A social event for the High and Mighty. Come see the noble Lord Protector get his head chopped off. Or as bad as us betting on the dogfights. Attention. The solitary wing is off the in here. He's gotta get me out. Unless accompanied by an officer of the wall. Escort to the solitary wing must be scheduled in advance with one week's notice. ourselves before it gets to the captain. We'll fall apart, I think. We'll get it. There's two of us. scheduled in advance with one week's notice.
adversaries only. the Empress. You don't care about a few guards. Shut up. Look at this stuff. Somebody's been... Several brave officers of the state are 
dead by his hand. He is to be captured or killed at any cost. Get past me, sir. Do you know who we're hunting here? Don't try to take him out alone. But what if no one from the squad is around? And try to make a lot of noise when you die. Knock something over if you can. Bastard. Smells like a dead weeper in here.
temporarily escaped state custody. Several brave officers of the state are dead by his hand. He is to be captured or killed at any cost. Bravo. Over here. Quickly, I'm a friend. I'm Samuel. And I work for some good people who want very much to meet you. They said you'd come out here. I can still hardly believe it. I'll take you to meet them. Just down the river from here. out what we're up to. The watch will break in with swords drawn. And now that you've escaped, the Lord Regent's going to be tearing the city apart. I'll take you up to meet Admiral Havelock and the rest of the loyalists. The Admiral's a man to be reckoned with. If anyone can help you find that missing girl, Lady Emily, and clear your name, he can. We can continue this later, Lord Pendleton. The man of the hour is here. Corvo, I'm Admiral Havelock, a true servant of the Empire, like you. Until the Lord Regent purged those of us who wouldn't recognize his claim on the throne. And I'm Lord Trevor Pendleton. I represent the nobility in our little group. But we all act as equals here at the Hound Pits pub. This is a momentous occasion, Corvo. I'm going to come out with you. We've been building a coalition of loyalists, aimed at ending the Lord Regent's tyranny and restoring the throne. At risk of execution, we're committed to finding young Lady Emily and seeing her crowned as Empress. We've got big plans, but we can't do any of it without you. We need your skills, your ability in a fight, and in helping us, we're going to help you destroy the men who murdered the Empress. Sorry, you must be exhausted. We can discuss this further after you've recovered, but before you retire, you should introduce yourself to Piero. He's challenging at times. But his industrious mind buys him that right. Yes. Piero's as much an artist as a technician. He's going to be crafting the gear you'll need. Go talk to him, and then get some sleep. Attention. We can talk more when you've rested. The old port district has been added to the evacuation list. The weaker count for the months of siege has increased. The Lord Regent has decreed that plague ordinances will remain in effect through the month of rain. Stay alert and stay loyal. Good to have you with us, Corvo. Nothing against the others, but there's no substitute for a man who's done his service for the Crown. I will create the tools of the 
Upstairs, please, while I hold this in place. Be careful. Oil unstable. When it explodes, there is a terrible mess. Plug it in. Perfect. Thank you, Carl. Here, see? The assassin's mask. You're a wanted man, so everyone in the city knows your face. But this mask. Terror to them. If you just hold still, fit must be precise. There. Can you see normally? See the lens out of the line room. There. Better now? I could create more for you. Upgrades for your gear, weapons, munitions. But our situation here is desperate. Scavenge the city for valuables, and I will resell them on the black market. That should give us the money to craft the things you need. Tell me what I can make for you. Life will get even more difficult soon. You should rest while you can. Very well. You know best. Let me know if you need anything more. attempt to house or care for a friend or family member who shows signs of blood on their face and chest area. The only way to help them is to bring them to the city watch. They will be taken to the flooded district for treatment. Must be Corvo. I am Lydia, at your service. Your room is upstairs and ready. When they told me who it was, well, I thought you'd be older, like the Admiral. Attention, Dunwall citizen. Of course be advised, you the river crust infestation has really spread downriver as far as the river mouth and flooded yeah, district. Do not attempt to approach or destroy a river crust. Any items recovered from doing so are considered state property. Pleased to meet you, Master Corvo. I saw you at court in... 
happier days. But you might not remember. I was once a close ally to the Lord Regent, Hiram Burroughs, back when he was just the spy master. He's one manipulative bastard, I can tell you that. There's something distinguished about you, Corvo. Was there nobility back in your family line? I wouldn't be surprised. Did you know I'm distant kin to the late Empress in her line? Not close enough, sadly. I'll never be Emperor. Most of the nobility went straight over to the Lord Regent's side after the Empress died. Easiest thing to do. But to me, a noble birth requires a sense of loyalty. This city has fallen into ruin since the plague struck. These poor weepers moaning and bleeding from the eyes. They say there's no cure for the plague once it advances that far. Hmm. Terrible. Your life has taken a turn, has it not? The Empress is dead. Her precious daughter Emily is lost somewhere in the city, and you will play a pivotal role in the days to come. For this, I have chosen you and drawn you into the void. I am the outsider, and this is my mark. There are forces in the world and beyond the world, great forces that we call magic, and now, these forces will serve your will. Use this newfound power, my gift to you. Come find me. Follow. Your trials will be great, Corvo. Seek the ancient runes bearing my mark in the lonely places of your world, and at shrines raised in my name. These runes will grant you powers beyond those of other men. To help you find these runes, I give you this. The heart of a living thing, molded by my hands. With this heart, you will hear many secrets, and it will guide you toward my runes, no matter how they may be hidden. Listen to the heart now, and find another rune. This place is the end of all things, and the beginning.
centuries. Someday this place will devour all the lights in the sky. What I have given you falls upon you, as it has to the others before you. And now I return you to your world, but know that I will be watching with great interest. Should I clear a space for Samuel then? If you like, but he won't use it. Why? He can't sleep in regular beds anymore. Well, that's what he says. He says he was in the Navy too long. Can you believe it? Oh, that pie. Well, let's get down to it. First off, I know that assassination is dark business. But sometimes, good men have to do bad things to make the world right. Our purpose is clear. We want to restore Her Majesty's line by finding and putting Emily Caldwin on the throne. To those ends, we'll hide, act in shadow, take them apart, piece by piece. Tonight, High Overseer Campbell dies by your hand. It won't be easy. He's protected by his overseers, an army of religious zealots. But if anyone can do it, you can. Your exploits are legendary. Campbell carries a private journal. Once you've eliminated him, get the journal, because we think it contains Emily's location. Recovering her is obviously critical assuming she's alive. That's the gist of it. Remember our cause and strike true. We're counting on you. Another thing. Campbell is holding a former overseer by the name of Martin. He's one of us. And if you manage to find him, give him whatever help you can. He's a master strategist, and he got caught working for our cause. It'd be good to have him back here at the house. Corvo. Hello. I'm Callista. I work here for Admiral Havelock. I'm sorry to intrude on your business, but this is important. I suspect you're going to kill the High Overseer. That wretched man. There's really no reason for you to listen to me. But my uncle, Jeff Kernow, still serves as captain in the City Watch. But he's a good man, and my only family. The chatter in servant circles is that Campbell just took delivery of an exotic poison. And I think I know why. 
My uncle's not corruptible like the rest of them. Campbell is going to poison my uncle. Do you think you could protect him? You used to do that, right? Before you had your current profession. Before you became an assassin. What can I do for you? Just give the signal. It'll be a rough trip. It used to be to go straight up Clavering Boulevard, but now it's not so easy. Half the city's dead of the plague. The other half's fighting over what's left. City Watch still holds the bigger streets, and they've set up those wall of light checkpoints. A man walks through one of those, and he ends up burned to a crisp. Everything not controlled by the City Watch is gang territory. There are the real odd birds living on the fringes like that Granny Rags. They say she's nuts. I don't know which is worse. Just take your pick. Under the house. I think that last one was moving. What? Yeah, the little one. Not possible. I inspected them myself. Mm -hmm. Keep working. Attention, Dunwall citizens. John Clavering Boulevard has been designated <laughs> a restricted travel area. Any citizens are liable to search or imprisonment at the discretion of the city watch.
Attention, Dunwall citizens. The following businesses have been closed and impounded by the state due to contamination. Barrow's Barbershop and Surgery. The Duke and Dancer Ale House. Merritt's Printing Firm. Pennyworth Attack and Saddle Emporium. And the Smoke Street Dice Hall. I told you the knives go on the left. Dear? Is that you, my dear husband? Oh, my eyes aren't what they used to be. Have you seen my little birdies? Oh, the dear things must be starving without their granny. Here, birdies. Here. Oh, my, my, my. I think I have gentlemen callers again, but not the way I used to, not the nice ones. I hear them. And they're not very polite ones, either. Granny Rags, Granny Rags, let us in. Ah, oh, well, they'll go away again if they know what's good for them. But what a bother. Here's the key to the front door, love. You'll see to those ruffians, won't you? Help me with those ill-mannered boys. My brave man. Listen, Granny has a birthday present for you. I got it from the outsider, and now I'm giving it to you. Go on. It's upstairs. On the vanity. I think you'll cut a nice figure with it. Remember how we used to dance? Our parties were even grander than those at the Boyle Manor. Everyone wanted to come. I hope you like the little gift I got for you. It's the least I could do for turning those louts away. I can't bear these Bottle Street children. Ruffians, every last one of them. Rotten apples. And that slack jaw is the worst of the lot. You know what I just thought of? You could do something else for me. Another little favor. And I'd give you another present. Another lovely wound carved from the bones of a dead whale. Do you remember my doctor, dear? Dr. Galvani? Now there was a clever man. He's got all sorts of nasty rat guts and disease in his laboratory. Wouldn't it be a shame if some of that mess found its way into the Bottle Street Gang's elixir still? That'd teach him. See to it, dear. I'll find you another present just like the first. Galvani lives on Clavering Boulevard. Or at least he used to. Those were the days. Now run off. My baby birdies are hungry. So precious. Hmm. But they're shy. You'll have to go or they won't come. I told you the knives go on. No people. Get out. Be careful, Corvo. They call her Granny Rags. You wouldn't recognize her real name, or even the name of her family. But an emperor begged for her hand once. 
and rich young men fought each other for her favor. I watched her consider them all, measure their worth, and find them wanting. Then, she made a different choice. You're on your way to face the High Overseer, the leader of a great cult dedicated to loathing me. What will you do, I wonder? you brother I won't ask about the mask I wouldn't want my face seen either pulling a stunt like that you know what I'll return the favor come by Griff's shop that's my business well it was at one time but now I'm reduced to scavenging things from here and there as the city dies if you need anything I wouldn't mind trading for a little money maybe someday the plague will blow over and everything will go back to normal but until then it's scavenging for me. What the? Want to look at some of the things I found? Good prices, I swear.
just a matter of time. Please.
Looking for something special? the door handle to Dr. Galvani's lab? Yeah. I think so. I need help! Help me!
I'll find you. Looking for something special? second. Feels good to stand up straight. Thank you, Corvo. What you're here to do tonight is of the highest importance. We've got to find Emily. So kill Campbell and make it quick. Once it's done, search his body for the journal. His notorious black book. And get out of there. Campbell is meeting with a guard named Kerna. And word from my informant is that Campbell is going to poison him. Maybe you can use that to your advantage. 
All right, I won't be of any help here, so I'll make my own way back to the Hound Pits, but if I Samuel the Boatman, I'll tell him to pick you up in the backyard, behind the office of the High Overseer. I was just oh, reading in the so article about the Hound Pits brand. It sounds painful. Have you ever seen the ritual? I've never seen the heretic's brand used. No, it's a rare occurrence. But I did spy the face of one so brand new. A former member of our order, of course. Out on a retreat, we passed through a fishing town and saw him begging. What were his crimes? Who can say? The brand is reserved for the overseer, or even the high overseer himself who violates our codes and must be cast out permanently. Remember the seven strictures, and you never need to worry about such matters. I will. Did you get caught in the lock? Last night. Six hours. <laughs> you when we're finished. Keep each other entertained in the meantime. I don't understand how this got so unpleasant. Oh, I agree, I agree. A whore dies and suddenly this. Will you have wine? It's a Tivian Red. Thank you. Now, to business. What would you say happened last night? To be honest, I'm not even sure. My men, your overseers, a few whores, maybe a little too much ale. One harmless prank with a runaway chicken, and ten minutes later, Trevor's Alley is a sea of blood and teeth. I almost wish I'd been there. <laughs> Take it easy there, old son. I'm all right, Colonel. But down the wrong way. Now about these overseers. Who are just as guilty as my own men, if not more. But my overseers have a name... I can't allow you to... Oh, oh no. This can't be happening. Who stunned us? What on earth are you talking about? No time, no time. Listen carefully. You must... Instruct the Lord Regent to burn the Black Book. Understand? Burn it! What Black Book? What do you mean? Tell him. Warn them. And then die of plague, you useless incompetent. I never fight you. What the... Guards! Guards, get in here! By the prophecies, what have you done? He's been poisoned. There was a... Uh, yes. oh, Die, damn it! Uh. Uh, 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 uh. You're fish bait now.
to the beginning. It was Martin's plot to bring the alarm. I need more men. Stop, my idiots! Impossible. I know you're here somewhere. Got you now, assassin. Like he just disappeared. Curse the outsider. Black magic. No, I'll find. <laughs>
won't be catching this rat bastard. Guard! Take out his leg! Somewhere, scum. Aha! Stand clear! Someone get over here! Watch it! Here somewhere. Here you are. Clear the lines. It looked like he just disappeared. Impossible. I know you're here.
your own squad after what happened last night? Chances are very good. pretty posh life. Maybe it's not my place to say, but men of the faith shouldn't live like barons. You ready to go? Okay, let's go. Thank you, Corvo. Thank you. My uncle's a good man, and one day he'll prove it. Here. I know you did this for the right reasons, but I want you to take this as a reward. It's an old heirloom one of my aunts gave me. They're all cool. If this is going to work, 
We have to Attention. take down the Lord Regent all and all of us. You did it. Somehow you took down the High Overseer Campbell against the odds. I knew you were our man, Corwin. With Campbell gone, we've hurt the Lord Regent in measure. And with Martin back, we'll have the finest strategist alive. The Lord Regent must be shitting himself in Dunwall Tower. Yes, and Campbell's journal looks nothing yet. Our hope is that in these encoded pages, the location and condition of Emily Caldwin can be discovered. Our entire movement will mean nothing if we can't place the rightful heir on the throne. We must act fast. No doubt the Lord Regent is holding Emily somewhere, waiting to reveal her, to step out as the hero and further cement his regency. If he doesn't bring the young lady forth soon, there will be infighting among the nobles as to who should succeed the Empress. Yes, time is against us. But now you should take a well-earned rest, Corwin. We will decipher the contents of the High Overseer's journal and share them with you later. <laughs>